um, the financial transactions are conducted uh, across the, the world between different countries, different jurisdictions. Now, who would control the, um, these funds raised? Uh, and who would control the allocation uh, of these funds across different countries around the world? My own take is that the, uh, the thing that we will likely get is national taxation on transactions that are uh, deemed to be within uh, the national jurisdictions coordinated across the G20 countries. Uh, so this is, at least in my view, not ripe for a global tax authority. Uh, that I can't imagine uh, in, in the U.S. Uh, uh, that set off another American Revolution. Um, and uh, I wouldn't think we should go down that road. Uh, I think what we should be talking about is harmonized national taxation. And then the allocations would be national revenues. But again, on the other side of it, a fair sharing uh, of these uh, revenues between domestic and international uses. And that would be a big breakthrough also by engaging the United States in doing more on the international side than it has done for a very long time. I'm proud of my country for having uh, almost invented modern foreign assistance in the Marshall Plan and in similar programs around that time. But we lost the will for that about 30 years ago. And it's we need to re- uh, we, we need to recapture that will, uh, and uh, that's part of what this can do. Claire Ivor, do you want to comment on that? I mean, only to say, I suppose, in, in development, we have quite a lot of experience now in moving large amounts of money around the world and in combining um, into big funds donations from different countries and different private individuals and deploying them where they're going to have the most effect, so in the Global Fund exactly. and in other ways of doing it. So I think there are models out there that we can use and, exactly. and use well. 